That's a great question. Does VRAM help or affect game performance? So I have VRAM on at 10 gigabytes, which is a max 10 gigs here. And on Geekbench, the scores were just about similar to when VRAM was off down here. So all about the same, give or take, in terms of performance. You won't, really won't notice any difference here. Same with GPU scores. I don't really notice too much of a difference. Maybe a slight turn up here at 1281 for GPU scores. On Rootscape, I'm getting an average of like 40. No, no. And this is at the lowest graphics settings here. Not sure if you can tell, but the FPS is right up there. So overall, it's playable with VRAM on. Same with God of War. It actually does a really good job on here. At the lowest I get is 56 FPS. So this is definitely playable. Now I'm going to set this to do zero, essentially turning this off. So got to restart this. Now that VRAM is off, we'll try the same exact games. With VRAM off, it's more or less the same, but what's kind of interesting here is that I haven't gotten to 56 FPS here. It's only stayed at 58 for the moment I've been playing here. I think I saw it touch 56 just for a single second, so not as long as it was in the past. Oh, there's 55. Honestly, RuneScape is more or less the same, even with v VRAM off. I don't want to say it's a tad smoother, but I just see based on the FPS rate on top here. It almost looks like it was performing better for a second, but yeah, give or take, uh, overall it just seems like VRAM is unaffected, so it doesn't matter how much VRAM a tablet has personally. Now, if there is there is a use case, please let me know, because I don't see one so far. For tablets specifically, and this part where it says 16 gigs of RAM, when it's really 6 gigabytes of physical RAM on this tablet and 10 gigs of VRAM, is pointless. Might as well just keep it at 6, because it's still good for the price. I feel like that's just misleading. But do you guys feel the same way? Please let me know.